today we are night shelling. It is about 8 p.m. It is relatively windy the last three days. Uh, it's been crazy windy and there is a lot of sea foam on the other side, so much that I can't even look. So we're straight onto the other side. Let's see what we First can find. First find of the night is gonna be down here. I think it's a live Arabian. That's absolutely live. Look at that, he was eating or maybe just crawling around. That's a giant, actually. That's a really nice specimen. Not sure what he was doing with that, but I'll leave it with him. That's actually giant. I'd say that's like a solid uh, 70, 80, oh uh, yeah, about 70, 80 millimeters. So seven to eight centimeters. Nice. Look at the pattern. It's halfway through going another layer. Got a nice looking snakehead here. Just been lifting up some rocks. This one looks damn nice. Wow. Check out this pattern. Here, we'll take it to the water. Wow, that's actually really nice. Very, very fresh. Awesome. Sweet. Now it's Guys, so we've absolutely scored on grapes lately, and you see that sitting right there? I also saw a nice piece of coral back there. All right, let's grab it, dude. I'm just gonna put my torch down. Let's get a good angle. Please, please. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude, wow, look at that color. There's so many bugs. Holy moly, that color is absolutely, oh, wow. Check out those ends, holy moly. You guys can see how many bugs are around me because of the light. Wow, that is awesome. Dude, I gotta get these bugs. It's actually starting to rain a bit. That was absolutely epic. We have done so crazy well with the, oh, that's a kind of cool piece of, what is it, coral? Yeah, it's kind of raining a bit right now. I want to take that coral. And it's crazy how well we've been doing with the, uh, what are they? Um, grape cowries, man, it's just unbelievable. Look at all these bugs though. But as you can see through that, it's starting the to rain. sea hair down here, guys. This one's a giant. Awesome. Oh, there's something in my ear. Yeah, also, I just wanted to say something really weird happened. I was down there about 10 meters away, and I swear I saw a possum. So an opossum, which is what they called in America, but so strange, I didn't manage to catch it on camera. Anyway, let's get back to the I'm pretty sure they're doing something uh, that I'm not going to name. That's strange. All right, I'm going to Another live uh, Arabian here, and it looks like a little, little tiny fella. Oh my goodness, that is for sure one of the smallest I've seen. And actually one of the best smallest condition ones I've ever seen as well. That one's tiny, I'd say that's about an inch and a tiny bit more. That's awesome. Cool buddy, see you later. Oh, there you go. Not Bye -bye. sure what type of cowrie it is down here. I think it might be a clandestine. It is really small. Oh, did I just lose it? Nope, still got it. Oh, what the heck? Yo, that's the tiniest grape I ever seen. What? I could only see the bottom, and as you can see, you can't really see the lines when it's that small. I am so glad I didn't pass that. It's got the tiniest hole, unfortunately, but there's still a keeper. I'm trying to show you guys a good angle while not dropping it. Nice. Just down in that hole there. Awesome. Let's keep shelling, dudes. Comment down below if you've ever found a grape cowrie and drop a like Sides on this video. of this Arabian cowrie. I'm going to get the GoPro out so you guys can see a better shot. Do you see that? That is a partridge ton. Oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot wait to lift this up. Alrighty guys, let's check it if it is live. This is gonna be such a surprise for me. Oh, look at that tip. It might be alive. Oh my God, that's alive. Holy dooly guys, that is alive. Oh my God, what? That is incredible. I'm so sorry to get you out of there, man. But that is incredible. Wow. A live partridge ton. Check out that color. Wow. Holy moly. Look at that. I'm gonna wash him off and then we'll put him straight back into his Just hole. Just got him cleaned up. And uh, obviously we're not gonna take this shell because he is live. That is so incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. This night has been incredible, guys. Oh my gosh. 
That is so amazing. Would you look at that? <laughs> it's about two and a half inches, I'd say. Wow. Look at that. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna put him back in his hole. I really don't wanna keep him out for too long. Put him straight back. I'm gonna bury it out a little bit so he can get comfy again. That is so awesome. Sorry about pulling you out, mate. I just really had to check if you were empty. Alrighty, my friend. Have such an awesome night. I'll bury you all the way so no one else can see him. Wow, that was incredible. Guys, tonight is incredible. Wow. Hey guys, you will not believe what's in front of me right now. I have a live, let me just see, it's not coming around the corner. I have a live textile cone shell here. These guys are incredibly okay, deadly. Guys, let's take a look. I'm gonna get, holy shoot, that is extremely dangerous. I'm gonna get the GoPro. The camera's about a meter away from me. It is pointing at me though. Oh, holy crap. Wow. That is deadly. Holy moly. Wow. So I was about, I was standing right here, about a meter and a half away from it. That is incredible. Alrighty guys, I'm being extremely careful with this. Uh, I'm absolutely not touching it. I go to a lot of lengths for these YouTube videos, like going night shelling. That's rather dangerous as it is, but I draw the line at deadly stuff like that. Um, it, one shot, one sting of it can kill me. It will kill me. I am like shaken as it is, just getting a meter and a half away from it. That thing was sticking right at me, but that's about all I'm gonna be able to show you guys unless it comes out. I don't have any plastic container or anything. I wouldn't even touch it. Maybe, maybe I'd put a plastic container over it and take a closer look but I'm not touching it. Guys, thing. I've left it down there. I haven't touched it, haven't gone back near it. And I think I've been privileged enough to be able to walk away safe. Uh, I'm not gonna touch it at all. I am actually gonna walk around it. I am not going near it. So anyway, guys, let's continue on with the shell journey. That is incredible. I made it out of love. We got another sleeping shark down here. Let's check it out. That's awesome. That's so cool. Arabian cowrie, let's check it out. Put you guys down. Beautifully coloured fish. I'm pretty sure he's alive. I'm pretty sure he's just sleeping. So if you can't see my face, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's just sleeping there. <laughs> Another live Arabian cowry. If you guys are sick of the Arabian cowries, comment down below and I will stop filming them for you guys. But some of them are actually really different. So let's check this first one out. he's just like eating away at something uh, I can't really tell but yeah they're pretty cool I really like them but yeah let's keep moving we have another one that is two deadly textile cones closer to because its end is at the bottom of that rock Wow all right I'm definitely gonna leave that incredible that is two in one night my goodness see a bit more of the color now and I am protected a bit more that's crazy. 
awesome, awesome, the awesome. The other Vive textile we found a couple of minutes ago, literally meters away from this one. I'm gonna leave this guy go. I'm not gonna touch it. And uh, we'll say goodbye. That's an incredible sight.